What's happening, Fish and Friends? Welcome to another episode. Tonight, we are talking tackle organization. Y'all didn't see it down here before, but it was a mess. Rods and reels laying around. I got boxes of stuff, soft plastic crankbaits. It was honestly all a bit overwhelming over here in this corner, my little corner of the basement. So I'm gonna go through how I have stored some of this, got it put together, different ways you can store your soft plastics, ways that you can organize around your house with things you just got laying around. And I'm just gonna kind of go through a whole bunch of this stuff, show you what I got, some things you haven't really seen. Let's just, let's, let's go through it, let's start. Okay, I'm gonna work my way over and start with the simple stuff here. So that's my tackle bag, boxes. I'm gonna go through all that stuff. That's a video that's long overdue, going over how I put my tackle bag together, what all I put in there. We'll do that in a separate video. But this, just picking up a whole bunch of lost crankbaits, things that were laying around here. Your tackle box ever look like that? I almost got all those in one, one go there. Chapos, jerk baits, topwater poppers, 10XDs, some booyah lipless, the whopper popper. Got a little bit of everything, just stuff that was laying around here, got it all picked up and at least put in one of these so I don't get hooks in my hand. Some other stuff here that I haven't put away yet. Of course, there's a frog in there, love it. Got all my swim baits organized. These are all the larger swim baits. I'm gonna throw my dedicated swim bait rods, some things you've seen, the HUD. Those big six and a half inch creeps from Beast Coast, love those. Some things I've never thrown, rats, a couple of those. Hybrid crank, just saw that in a video not too long ago. Ooh, some little tiny swim baits. So got those all put in a box, they're all ready to go. One that a lot of people have asked me about, that Arashi Glide, yes I did get one of those, excited to try that, but put those all in a box, try to keep those in my car or somewhere close because I do want to focus on throwing large swim baits this year. Got a bucket, not for anything special, but can never have enough buckets. Kind of a little catch-all table here that I got cleaned off. Yes, Nick, I do still have your reel. I promise I did not steal this. That baby's sounding pretty rough. We're gonna clean that in a video coming up here soon. I need to get that done because spring is right around the corner. I'm sure you want your reel. So we're gonna uh, get that taken apart and try to figure out what's wrong with it. Some extra soft plastics. These are you'll, uh, you'll be seeing in a video. Those are homemade by Debo. Thanks to the guys in the bait cave. I'm excited to try them that stuff. There's some others there, got some funky blue colors, some brown, some orange, a little bit of everything, but some stuff I want to try, just some random soft plastics that I got, at least I picked them up and put them in a bag here. Ah yes, had these picked up, these were all things laying around, you can see I've got a few extra frogs just kind of laying around here, got those all picked up, along with some soft plastic stuff that was hanging around, I didn't want to step on them, hooks, all that kind of stuff. But got those all at least put in a box for now until I can organize them and put all those exactly where they go. Kind of cool stuff in there too. Also had a little box of these. These were all the open hook deals. So all kinds of spinners, chatter baits, just extra stuff. Ouch, that one's sharp. All extra stuff that I had laying around. I just wanted to get them all picked up and at least in a box so I can organize them. Not on the ground. Big dog lures here. This is one of my musky boxes. Some large baits. You need those large baits to catch those large musky. Still haven't been able to catch a musky on one of these, but I'm hopeful this year I did not put enough time in. Musky box. Broke the box, it's good Debo. Rods and reels, need to get all those put up on the rod and reel holder. Some stuff here, man, I am long overdue on reviews. That 13 Omen Black 3 rod with that Concept A, I gotta use that the last few months, three months or so of 2019. Yeah, probably broke the tip. Even just some regular old standbys, that was that Lose Laser Pro. Not a very expensive or crazy reel, I think I got that for like 70 bucks. On that Arc Viper rod, that was one of my favorite combos, I used the heck out of that. Wore the EVA all apart. And even some stuff over here that's a little new. You probably haven't even seen this yet. That Intenza rod, I need to get out that and tell you all what I think about it. And, oh, just give you a quick sneak peek of that. Got that on sale the other day. So I know I've got a number of those rod and reels I need to do reviews on. I will be catching up. Some trout stuff here I tried to get organized. Some soft plastics. Now, this can be one of the biggest pains in the rear end to try to organize all these soft plastics. These are just random things I've got laying around. Yamamoto stuff, power bait stuff, little crawls. Some trick worms, tubes from a local guy here that I want to throw more. More cross, just stuff I need to get organized, and I've kind of done that a few different ways. So let's come over here. All right, when it comes to soft plastics, this was probably the first way that I ever organized my soft plastics, and I think I saw some dude do it on, you know, the Bassmaster or some pro did it, but, you know, you take these bags just like this. These are just the gallon Ziploc bags. I think they even have two-gallon bags. But you take these and organize them by, like you can see this is one of my favorites in there, the old Pit Boss. Put them in there, and then on the little white part here, you can write exactly what they are. So you could write like, you know, three inch pit boss, four inch pit boss, all pit boss, whatever you want to do. And keep those organized that way. That way, in case they leak any of those oils and scents and stuff, you've got them in a Ziploc bag. I know this is a, a very popular method for guys in the boat. You can just take out the bag, you know exactly what's in there. Now, 
For a bank angler, it doesn't really make sense to do it this way, but when you're storing all your extra stuff at home, it works pretty darn well. Then you can just get some extra boxes like these. These are old tackle warehouse boxes. You can just store them in there exactly like that, and it works absolutely fine. Another way you can do it, these clamshells, which is one of the reasons why I like these. You can see a bunch of Rage stuff here. I absolutely love the Rage stuff, and these are all extra deals that I got from the Gander sale. I think I was getting these for like a dollar each. I bought a few. Some of the stuff are older and they're used. There's not even a full thing in here like these. Randizzle gave me those, the rooster deals. But anyway, with these clamshells, you can keep them up in a box like this that's almost perfect size and literally just keep them like that. You know, you've got the Rage Craws. I can see there that one's almost all the way used. But Rage Craws, got there some rodents. Just an easy way to store those deals that are in the clamshells where they're hard, keeps everything nice and straight. I like storing them that way. So that seems to work here. As we go over, I've kind of done the same thing. This is some drop shot stuff. So those X-Zone lures, those are those little drop shot deals. And I even put a little tiny net head on one. I want to try that. See how that'll do? I don't know. We're going to try it. Some plasma tails, and probably my favorite drop shot bait so far is this KBD, the Dream Shot. I really like that. There was one, it's like green pumpkin with sapphire flake or something. Really like that one, but I'm just going to try to get all my drop shot stuff organized. Plastics keep in here. Um, this is just some random jig heads, some shaky heads, some of these other Strike King football heads and stuff. I just put in a little box there. Same thing you can do. They don't have to be in the hard shells. This is all my reaction innovation stuff. Honestly, one of my favorite soft plastic companies out there. Everything from their beavers to the, of course, little spicy beaver. I don't need to say much about those. The skinny and little dippers, absolutely great little baits. Love those. So I just stood those all up in here. It seems to work well. Also got some of those Beast Coast Marauders. I don't know if you follow them on Instagram, but I've seen that they uh, have some new colors out. They're at some fishing show. I'm definitely going to be putting an order in with them soon. Love their stuff. Well, I got another box here with just some uh, some Ned Rig deals. Everything from the little TRD Craws to just the regular, well, more TRD Craws, TRD Hogs, somewhere. There we go, the little finesse TRDs. But just kind of trying to organize them this way into Ned Rig baits. And then these are just kind of some new baits as I go through my plastics and stuff. Just some new stuff. Y'all seen those not too long ago. Some new things I want to try. Now... Another way to organize your soft plastics is in these. Flambo makes these. There's another company that makes them. I forget who. Um, but anyway, it's a box essentially this size. 4510 is the model number on these. They're nice. They've got a little carrying handle on them. Little latch clip open here. You can see these are perfect for soft plastics. You can store all your soft plastics this way. And when I only had you know enough for a couple of these deals. These work absolutely fine. So if you don't have a ton, you can lay these all in here just like this. They've got little dividers here you can put in. These work really, really nice if you want to keep them all in one hard case. Now, speaking of hard cases, if you don't have too many, you can also put them in something like this. So this is just a, a one compartment. If you've ever gone to buy the Planos, there's a bajillion different types. But this is a 3700 size. That's the rectangle size of it. And it's a one compartment. So when you open it up... It doesn't have any of the little tiny compartments in there. That's really shaky. i got to move it. None of the little compartments in here. It's just one big compartment. You can see I was just laying soft plastics in here. I like to keep them in the bags like this. I do not like to take them out. And do I even have any? I personally am not a fan of taking the soft plastics out of the bag and putting them in your containers like this. I used to do that back in the day when I had a, you know, a tackle box, but even then I would still keep my worms and stuff in a plastic bag like this. The problem with this is if it gets too hot, these will melt. It'll kind of stick to the side. If they get mixed together, the colors can bleed. If you get any sort of skirted bait on them, it can ruin it. I've just had more trouble putting them in a deal like this. I know some guys like to a hundred percent personal preference. If you like to do that, you know, take your worms out and lay them straight Your stick baits. You could put them in something like this, but I don't know. I've just found that it seems to make a mess. Stuff melts. I don't like it. Um, just personally, I don't like to do that. And being a bank angler, I try to carry only a couple of these hard plastic deals. The soft plastics, I can just stick a number of those in the bag and go. But that is another way you can do it too. You can get a big uh, you know, box like this and stick all those in there separately. Now, talking about extra storage, I always keep a bag like this. This was just a cheap gander bag. It holds these 3700s. I think I can fit five of these in here. Um, but I would just carry extra stuff. So just for example, like if I thought I was going to use some chatter baits or swim jigs, spinner baits, I could put them all in a box like this or you know, a few boxes of different things. Put them in a bag like this and leave this in the back of my car. That way I can only carry what I want on me in my tackle bag. 
come back to the car if I want to swap out and grab, let's say I didn't have any chatterbaits, come back and grab something like that if they're eating bluegill, or if I only had some green pumpkin, come back and get some of these if it's muddy water. Keeping a box like this, a number of boxes like this, and a bag in your car if you're a bank angler comes in handy. You can see I've also got extra hooks in here, a bunch of extra hooks over on this side, some weights. You can just carry extra stuff so in case you're out, you can go back to the car and reload. So that's how I've done these deals here next to my TV. You can see here I've got some stuff that I will definitely be showing you more of soon. Look at all those swim baits. Those are ones that I've made. Thank you very much, the guys, the bait cave, some very large swim baits. You can see compared to my hand there how big that is. That is a big, beefy swim bait. Pretty proud of that, dude. But I'm going to be throwing those this year. Just kind of got those laying straight so the tails don't get all bent. Just kind of throwing that all on the deal here. Some extra grande bass. Of course, my old school Nintendo games. Couldn't throw those away. That's from a kid. Love those. And then below these, these have helped a ton clean up extra rooms. So in here, I just kind of did these drawers randomly. This is a bunch of extra reels that I've got. Um, a lot of them are still in rotation, things that I've been doing videos on, one that you haven't even seen yet. Some that are old favorites that I absolutely love that are still in use, and some things that are even a little bit new, getting some new bearings for that. Speaking of bearings, got all my bearing stuff here, tools, pins, extra ceramic bearings, bearing pliers there. You can see the tip makes it very easy changing the bearings out. Next drawer is my swimmers. So I've got some uh, different rage tail stuff over here. The large things, middle size, stuff I don't really know even that I had. Small Kitex, of course, I keep stocked up on the Beast Coast Miyagi, probably my favorite swim bait out there. And then the little tiny finesse baits in back. And these are just extras that I've kind of got hanging around, so I put them in a drawer. And this drawer, nothing. Over here, again, more extras. So these are all extra treble hooks that I've got. I know it would make sense to take all these out and put them in boxes and get them organized. I just don't have any extra boxes. I have none of these laying around except for, I think, these couple. Should have bought a bunch of these at Gander. I didn't. I'm a dummy. So this is what I'm left with now. Extra boxes just hanging out in here. But I couldn't pass it up. I mean, regularly, what are these? There we go. $8.49 is what they wanted for those regularly. That's expensive. I got these at like 70% off. Plus, it was the final day, so I got my discount. So I was getting these for like a buck something for a 11 pack. Couldn't pass it up. Bought a number of those. Uh, just got some extra Beast Coast stuff here. Those are those skirts, extra jigs, all my extra tungsten here. I love the way they do their tungsten. Easy to store like that and then take them as I need them. Extra Ned rig head stuff here. So I've got the Z-Man shroom heads and kind of stuff back here. Of course, those lifted jigs, probably my new favorite now, those Ned EWGs. Like those a lot. Next drawer down, just kind of some extra stuff, some dyes, some wind stuff. These are awesome if you have, uh, you know, the rod socks, the rod sleeves that keep sliding off just like that. So if your rod sleeve keeps sliding off, these little deals come up on here and you just cinch them down and it keeps your rod sock on your rod tight. So if you're taking them in and out of your car and stuff, they don't keep sliding off and get lost. Oh, might as well talk about that. That's just a bunch of extra grande bass soft plastics that I've got stocked up. Looks like I'm in the rod jungle. Love their stuff. Always keep extra on hand. Back over here, the last one. That's my big stuff. So these are musky baits. Probably my favorite one so far. I've caught a bunch of pike on that. Had my first big musky follow on that. That's a little Medusa Mini. Oh, you like throwing grubs? I got some 8-inch for you. Of course, the old bucktail. That's a standard for musky and pike fishing. Even some regular old, I don't know how that got in there. That's bass fishing. We'll talk about that one next. Speaking of this one, all my extra treble hook baits. Now, I know, honestly, uh, I'm ashamed that all of these are still in boxes. I need to get all these out, get them in different things. I've got Lucky Craft, Smithwicks, Hijackers, Red Eye Shads, DTs, just a whole bunch of stuff that I've accumulated over the years that's got thrown in places, boxes down here, things I didn't even know I had. I haven't even had time to take all these out. I've just got them all in one big drawer. The drawer under it happens to have kind of the same thing. These are single hook baits, chatter baits, jigs, spinner baits, all those just kind of organized in here so I at least know where they are. Um, if I want to stock up or grab any of this stuff, I kind of got to dig for it so it's not the best. Organization, I know, I'm working on it, but it gets everything off the floor and out of boxes and just a few extra frogs over there. Finally on the bottom, probably Randizzle's favorite. I've got a whole bunch of these. I was getting these for a dollar, a dollar a pack at the Gander sale. I spent 20 bucks and I think got the last 20 they have, but those are those War Eagle Heavy Finesse Jigs. 
three eighths and half ounce randall zip. If you need any, come over and stock up whenever you want. Down here, I've got some other single hook things. So these are swim baits, underspins, those sort of things just down in here that I've got extras of. Put them in here for safekeeping. Spinner out here. Oh, there's the Nintendo. That is vintage. That's for me as a kid. And here I've got Extra Line. Yes, I stocked up on Extra Line too. They had Seeger Red Label for like $3. Grabbed a few of those along with the uh, the top knot. I really like that. 14 bucks regularly, $3. Couldn't pass those up. Extra Trilene, just kind of extra lines that I've had lying around. Put them in one of these deals with drawers just so I can find them. All the braid is down here, so extra braid. Some of these are just partial things. Some stuff I haven't even got to try yet. That's Glovis braid. Don't know about that, but they gave me those together for like $4. Why not? On the bottom is extra hooks here. So these are kind of my open hook things. Frog hooks, Nico hooks, centering pins. Just kind of random stuff in here. Extra flipping hooks. Owner flashy swimmers. Owner beast in here. That's the 6 out one fourth ounce. That's my favorite to throw on the Miyagi. Especially bank fishing. That one works very, very well for me. More random baits and stuff down here. I've been organizing. You can see the stuff just keeps falling off. So I've got to get all these put together. Figure out a way to get all this done. I don't know what to do. Comment below and let me know how you would do all of this. Do you like the Ziploc bag idea? That one works pretty well. You like this idea with them all in a box? That seems to work pretty good for the clam stuff. Maybe I should get some more of these and organize them in these. These work well. They're in hard cases. I can move them around. You can see there I've got a whole bunch of, I don't know what's in here. Oh, go figure. More pit bosses. I like those. Dollar at Walmart. Keep an eye out. Look at that. Shields, $1.99. Got them half off. Another dollar. Keep your eye out for sales. But maybe I could do them that way. I don't know. Comment below and let me know how you would do all these. How you would pick it all up. I, I don't know. All right, fishing friends. That's going to do it for tonight. So comment below and let me know what your favorite way to store soft plastics is. I know I went through a number of different ways. Ways that work for me. Ways that I've tried that I really haven't liked. I don't know. Comment below and let me know what you think of my organization. I wanted to get it all at least in drawers. I know I could take up a ton less space if I got more of the, you know, the Planos or Flambos or whatever. We had some of those extra drawers laying around that I got out of the garage, so put them in there. Seems to work for now, but there you go. A glimpse of the basement, Debo's dungeon, and how I'm storing some of my fish and stuff over there. But that's going to do it for tonight. Tonight's subscribe fish and friend shout out goes to Janos Chovek. I hope I said that right. Janos, I don't know how you pronounce it, but... He's my dude from across the sea, watches all the time, comments, I appreciate you. I told you I would not forget about you. A number of you out there deserve shout outs. It just takes time. You will all get there. You're on a list. So thank you all very much for watching. It's just kind of my way to give back to you all. Shout you out and let you know that I do read the comments. I do see you all down there commenting and it means a lot. So that's going to do it for me. It is late. I still need to edit. So thanks for watching and until next time.